purple bus stop. The gold sultan So many mud hoppers here. <laughs> and we're gonna be showing you guys all the hidden charms that this beautiful place has to offer. Let's go! Korea.net series Hidden Charms of Korea introduces cultural and tourist spots from a new perspective focused on people and their stories. The second destination of the series is Shinangung County in Cheollanandu Province. Shinangung County is the country's only local government consisting of only islands. Home to 1,025 islands, 72 are inhabited and 953 are uninhabited. The county is a UNESCO Biosphere Preservation Region a Ramsar Convention registered wetland, and Korea's first slow city. Keep watching to learn more about its hidden charms. We are going to Bokpo. So we are now at the coastal ferry terminal here because we have to take a bus, not a bus, sorry, a boat to go all the way to Shinangun County um, and we have about five minutes left for our boat. So now we're waiting here, we're there, <laughs> you can see <laughs> my lovely co-workers who are joining me bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a two night, three day trip. <laughs> Hello everybody! So the first stop is the filming location of a Korean movie. Do you guys have any guesses of what it might be? Okay, so we are at the filming location of a movie called Book of Fish. And they apparently built this place for specifically for this movie. So you can see some of the more traditional looking houses. It's a gorgeous mountain view. But the real treat is if you walk outside this little house, you can see a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the ocean. Alright, so we're gonna go to our next location soon after we take a couple of pictures. And um, yeah, let's go! Now we are at Shibok Beach, which is one of the beaches of Tochodo Island. And just look at how clean the beach is. Hi, Annie. Are you in? <laughs> you enjoying the beach? <laughs> yeah, I'm the beach. It's so clean. Hmm. A true hidden gem. <laughs> it's cold. The water's cold. I'm not barefoot though. I have my shoes. I was thinking about swimming, but no. Oh. <laughs> so if you guys come in June, it's not quite ready to swim. <laughs> Definitely in July though. Awesome, awesome. The tide is very gentle. The water is so clear, guys. This just shows exactly how hidden this place is. But it carries so many beautiful charming aspects.
everybody. Happy Thursday. Today is the second day of our Shinan trip. And as you can see, I'm very on theme right now with the purple, and so are my coworkers. Hi. <laughs> Just decked out in purple. <laughs> we have a purple umbrella here, purple wig, mask, hat, shirt. I got my little purple backpack here. Yeah. And so today, cute. as promised, we're going to be showing you guys around the famous purple islands, Pakjido and Kanojido, here in Shinangun County. All right, let's go. <laughs> Who's <is> that? <laughs> With purple curly hair. <laughs> we just walked from all the way over there. And this is Pakjido. And then there is a bridge that connects all the way to Panorto, which is where we're going. And my coworkers are having a little photo shoot. <laughs> Everything is purple here. Even the bus stops are purple. We also saw a purple bus earlier. <laughs> uh, it went by too quickly, but yep. Purple bus stop. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. So now I'm on the bridge Ooh. that leads to Panorto Island. It's one of the purple islands. We just crossed that bridge over there and now we're going to walk inside. So we actually ended up riding this car right here so that we can get a better view of the island. These purple flowers, there's like a whole road just of these purple flowers. And if you walk on this pathway for about an hour and a half, you can walk all around the island. Or, if you are a little short on time, you can ride one of those cars, those tour buses, slash actually tour cars, and it'll take around 20 minutes. All right, so let's get back in the car. So this is the village restaurant. We are at the purple restaurant where everything is purple. As you can see, we also have some purple rice here and purple plates, purple side dishes, and we also have a fish stew here. And we'll put the English names in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going up a shortcut to get a better view of the village. I'll show you guys what it looks like from up top. See you there! We finally reached the top of this small little hill and from here you can see the cute purple roofs of this village. And to my right there's a gorgeous view of the sea. So now we are at the Purple Cafe. 
Panor Cafe. And behind the cafe, there is a flower field. Ah, so pretty. You can see there's some visitors who are taking some photos with the purple flowers as if you're one of the flowers. <laughs> Take a selfie like this. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is day three of our travels in Xinan, and today we are at another bridge, not the purple one. Um, this one is called Zhangzhuo Dari. And the reason why is because we're going to, or apparently there's a lot of Zhangdongos here. Zhangdongos are blue spotted mud hoppers. And as you can see, there's a vast mud flat here. Oh! Ah, so they're all hidden in the water. Just plop, plop flopping out. So all of the little ripples that you see are most likely mud hoppers plopping in and out of the water. So cool. There are so many jangtungos here. Mud hoppers, also a lot of crab. All of these little spots that you see are most likely either crab or mud hoppers. Okay guys, so we made it to the other end of the bridge. Here's heading. Let's go and take a closer look. And here there's a lot more sand, interestingly. Hi heading. Hi. <laughs> yes, it's not as soft as before, but yeah, it is very sticky. It's kind of sticky though, isn't it? Oh, oh, it's sticky, sticky, sticky. Oh my goodness. So many mud hoppers here. <laughs> kind of scared, not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's get a closer look. Oh, sticky, sticky, sticky. So, as you can see, my shoes are quite dirty. It's all good though. <laughs> it's cool kind of seeing the mud hoppers up close without sticking to the mud. <laughs> so if you are a sneakerhead or you love shoes, I suggest you bring <laughs> your least favorite pair here. This is one of the most clean salt field I ever seen in this county. And if you look closely, you can see that salt crystals are made right now in the moment. It's really quite beautiful. This is where they store the salt, freshly made salt. It looks like snow, it's very beautiful. Now this is something. Here they let the seawater goes evaporated for the first step and then they move this water to the other field and that's where the salt is crystallized. And as you can see, you can see this special type of grass called hamcho in Korean and when they are tall enough they harvest this grass as well, they dry them, make them into powder and mix it with the salt they produce here and that's the famous hamchu sogum, salt with hamchu from Shinangun County.
힘들어요? 안 힘들어요. <웃음> 잘한다. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이